Hey, all right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video on the Poor Man's Gold channel, and this is an this is an awesome historic video here. So, uh, bottom line here is um, the Book of Fame that I've been working on for the past several months. Um, I really haven't been working on it. You guys have been filling it up. So, um, the book is now full. We're going to go through the book quick and um, check every every coin and every person out that sent anything into the channel for the Book of Fame. And um, I'm going to be giving away a super cool double diamond bullion, one troy ounce, experts only, 999 fine silver uh, button. So this is a super cool piece. This actually is my piece. Um, the other one is still brand new in the box here. But I say, let's get right to it. Let's not waste any more time. So, uh, here we go. Now, the Book of Fame, I started it just, I don't, I don't even know how I started it. I got it and, um, I just, you know, uh, you know, as, as when I got into YouTube, when I started the channel, um, people, you know, the sticker trades, nail calls, stuff like that. Um, and everybody seemed to be sending little, you know, bits and bobs and pieces and gifts and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? I want to get, um, a book where I can keep these, um, these gifts, you know, more, um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you know, more together and, you know, in a, in a, in a good manner, you know, keep them, uh, together and I, I I wound up getting a book. I got this book off eBay for like, I don't know, 10 bucks, something like that. And um, I truthfully, I never thought it would get full. So let's go through quickly. Um, like I said yesterday, by hook or by crook, A.G. Stacker is first in this book. A.G. Stacker uh, sent me a mail call a while back, and he included the... Um, the uh, the Lucky Gold from Benchmark, the quarter grain gold um, carded thing. So, uh, yeah, A.G. Stacker, you're in the book, buddy, and I really appreciate it. And um, I, that was the first gold anybody had sent me, and uh, actually the only gold anybody has sent me, but uh, totally cool A.G. Stacker in the book. Next we have uh, Mel S. Mel S. is um, uh, a... Just a great gal, man. Uh, you know, uh, always in the, in the comments there, uh, always on the channel. And she had messaged me. She had left a comment saying, hey, I'm thinking of sending you something. I was like, super cool. And truthfully, Mel S., I thought you were a Mel. You know, at, at first, I thought you were a guy, truthfully. Um, but then, you know, I found out that Mel S. is a woman. And um, she sent me this awesome 1853-0 oh, Half dime with arrows uh, and rays, I think, um, and that was that was super cool. Thank you, Mel S. Stacking perpetrator, the perp, the master, the king of album filling. Uh, stacking perpetrator sent me this nine 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 one ounce Liberty Mint um, one ounce uh, silver round here, um, right at the point where he was starting his channel. He was just just starting his channel, and um, uh, this is a great, a great piece, and I love it. Thank, per, stacking perpetrator, thank you very much. Silverfin twenty one, Silverfin twenty one sent me this sixty one uncirculated Roosevelt dime. Uh, Silverfin twenty one is uh, just makes awesome videos, a great, um, great opinions and great outlooks on the silver and gold game, and his stack. Is um one of the one one of the stacks that can't be beat. And we'll move on. Uh, thank you, Silverfan Twenty One. I really appreciate that. Next, we have James Ionello. Um, sent me this one tenth ounce, uh, Incus Indian from the Golden State Mint. And I have to say that this coin right here was the very first mail call I ever got on the channel. Very first, James Ionello. Um, thank you so much. And this was, this was great because I had done a giveaway, an OCD giveaway where I had a Incus Indian, um, one ounce round and the stamp on the back was twisted. It wasn't like, you know, uh, the, the Indian head is, 
is like um, straight here. And then when you turned it around, it was sort of off. It was like a rotated stamp on the back. And my OCD uh, was driving me crazy. And I gave that, that, I gave that coin away. And um, actually, James won uh, like a third prize or a second prize from that giveaway. It was a red book, a 2022 red book. And um, he, he was kind enough to send me this um, in Cuse Indian saying, uh, you know, this may, you know, may help replace the, uh, the uh, Indian you gave away. So um, that was a great mail call and my very first mail call on the channel. Next, we got two coins here from Savage Stacker, a 42 Mercury and a 36P walking liberty half dollar um when when i first started the channel um savage stacker was like totally awesome to me because he's you know and he still is you know what i mean i'm not saying that all i'm saying is uh savage stacker he he savagely stacks that's the bottom line on that and he was kind enough to to take some time out of his schedule to drop a drop a package in the mail for me for with these two coins to Helped me get a little start on my stack uh, when I was brand new to the, uh, you know, when I had just started the channel pretty much. So, um, next we got Trident Stacking. Trident Stacking, the man. The man, the legend, um, everything Trident to Trident. And as you can see, that uh, 1973 Barbados penny has a Trident on it. Um, Trident Stacking has also, he also designed my sticker um just after a little back and forth uh with trident um he worked his magic i don't know how but he uh you know i gave him like a you know the design i was looking for and this and that he got it um he got it down on like a, a file or something like that and he recommended a guy to do the stickers for me and um totally awesome uh trident trident i really appreciate that these i love these stickers and you and you really helped me out um, on, on these, and I owe you, buddy, if uh, there's anything I can ever do. Uh, Trident Stacking, thank you very much. Gunnar Gunderson, the, oh man, the Gunnar Gunderson is a, uh, a, great, a great guy. He's, uh, he's over in England, and um, he's just an awesome, awesome member of the community here. Uh, you know, he doesn't make, he doesn't, make content but i would i would love to see something from gunner gunderson and he sent me several coins uh from the uk we got the uh swedish 100 kroner that's uh sterling silver the 1916 one franc that's uh 83 and a half percent silver we got the copper nickel four annas from uh british india from gunner gunderson uh the copper nickel one penny from British West Africa. It's got a hole in it. A Star of David on there or something. Totally cool coin. I love that coin. And um, a 1914 three pence. Uh, sterling silver on that. A Great Britain three pence on that. Um, Gunnar Gunderson sent a, a bunch of coins in this book. Um, as you can tell, we got uh, three more here from Gunnar Gunderson. Uh, the Great Britain, another 1914, uh, three pence, Great Britain, um, a one Anna, a copper nickel one Anna, that's a super cool coin, it's like sort of ridgy on the edge of the coin, it's super cool, um, a 1919, um, British India one Anna, and I love these coins, man, every, every coin in this book has special meaning to me, and, um, that's, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's awesome. Um, and also, uh, Gunnar sent a straight settlement, a Malaysian straight settlement, uh, 1926, 10 cent, a 60, 60% 60 silver from Gunnar here. So, uh, totally awesome. Gunnar Gunderson is definitely, um, an awesome guy. And next we got, a 1927, um, a straight settlement, 20 cent piece, um, from send to Georgie. Sent to Georgie sent this, and I put it right next to Gunnar Gunner, Gunner Gunderson's um, 10 cent straight settlement um, coin. So that's totally cool. I got them both together. Now I got two coins from the man, Fish. Fish himself. Uh, these were the curated by Fish coins, 
when I was inducted into the Curated by Fish Club. You got the 1959 and the 1981 um, One Cent Penny Lincoln Memorials here. Um, this is uh, the first year, 1959, of the Lincoln Memorial. Last year, um, I don't know if it's the last year of the Lincoln Memorial in 81, but it was the last year of copper um, on the Lincoln cents. So um, we got a, a first and last year here. And these pennies are... Oh, stack the frack. I, I got those little envelopes in the back there. Can't see the fronts here, but um, they are both brilliant uncirculated. As you can see, they're 59D, BU Red, 1981S, uh, Type 1, Gem Proof Red. So awesome coins from the Curated by Fish, hand-picked by Fish. Fish, thank you very much. And next, I won uh, a giveaway. I won a, a, a not, you know, a, he had like a whole bunch of giveaways. Plumber Stacker, um, I won one of the giveaways in his 2,000 subscriber giveaway. And this is uh, four one gram rounds, uh, random rounds here. And um, that's super cool. And I, you know, I was like, you know, I know it's a giveaway win. It's not for the Book of Fame. But, you know, I was like, I got four little grams of silver here. And that's totally cool. And I, I won them from Plumber Stacker. And um, they're going in the book. So I put them in the book, and they've been there ever since. So, Plumber Stacker, thank you very much. And we got Spokane Silver Stacker. Spokane Silver Stacker. Triple S, the dude, the man, sent this um, super cool East India Co. 2020 Guinea St. Helena 1 ounce 999 fine silver. Uh, round, a coin or round, I'm not positive on this thing, but uh, either way, it's a one tenth ounce um, St. Helena um, East India Co. Silver Round, and that's totally cool. Triple S, Spokane Silver Sacker, thank you very much. Oh, geez, now we got Bob W., Bob Wojciechowski, Death From Below, sent this 1964 un uh, uncirculated proof Washington Quarter, and I didn't know who Bob was until he actually sent me his, uh, till I actually opened up his envelope um, on camera. And he had the Death From Below sticker in there. And I was like, and I was familiar with Death From Below from watching other channels, but I didn't know it was Bob. And I sort of freaked out. I was like, Bob, you're Death From Below? But either way, Bob is a great, great guy, um, veteran. And um, just a, an outstanding um, community member here. Bob, thank you very much for this. And I uh, really appreciate it. Bob actually sent me um, a, a, a Walking Liberty Half Dollar for my, for my album that I'm working on, my Walking Liberty Halves album. He actually was kind enough to send, a, I believe it was an 18D uh, reverse. So super early date, Walker. Um, he sent me for the, uh, the Walker album I'm working on. Bob, thank you very much, buddy. And we got a standing Liberty quarter from no other than Jay Parker Silver Stacker. Um, variety 2. I, you know, I didn't even have to put that Variety 2 there because it's a, it's a 1925. Of course, it's a Variety 2. It's a 1925 Philadelphia minted um, standing Liberty quarter. Very cool piece there. Jay Parker. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you. We got Bullion Baby. Bullion Baby. Bullion Baby sent me a 61D Washington Quarter, 90% silver. What else can I say? Bullion Baby is a buddy. A, a, a really, really great guy. A great, great member of the community here in the coin and silver stacking community. Bullion Baby, if you're not familiar with Bull, Bullion Baby, go check him out. Next, we have a clad. This is a clad 1967. Bullion Baby, thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. I really do. Um, next, we got a 67 clad quarter from Donna. Now, you may be saying, who's Donna? Donna is my wife. 1967 is the year I was born. She gave me this quarter, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to hold on to that quarter. I don't want nothing to happen to it. I don't want to accidentally spend it or anything. So uh, I stuck it in the Book of Fame. 
for safekeeping, 1967, from Donna. That's my wife, that's my birth year, and that's that. Thank you, Donna. Next up, we got a 44S Mercury Dime from Dissident Aggressor. Um, DA, the man, uh, 90%, 44S Mercury Dime. Uh, he sent that to me in a, I think, uh, just a, like a regular mail call. I forget, with, with his DA stickers. And um, that's totally cool. He did send me a second coin um, that we'll get to, I'm pretty sure, soon enough in the book. Next up, we got a M2 Trident Stacking. A 10% silver, 1957, un peso, Mexican. This is a huge coin. This is a really big coin. Um, for being only 10% silver, uh, Trident Stacking sent me this as a gift for something. I can't remember. I can't remember everything, Trident. I'm sorry. But this was a super cool um, mail call, and uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, again, Trident Stacking, thank you very much. You are you are the man. Next up, we got this uh, Aztec round. It's an Aztec round from no other than... The F word. Yes, the F word sent me this awesome one ounce uh, Aztec round, and that's totally cool. And um, I love I love that. It's my only Aztec round that I have. One troy ounce, 999 fine silver. And um, uh, that's an awesome coin. F word. The F word. Thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. And um, you're definitely in the... In the in the running for the uh, the thing. Okay, so next we got a we got a Mel S, another Mel S, and another Mel S. I had bought some coins from uh, Mel when I was working on my Franklin album. I bought a few Franklins from Mel S, and she sent me uh, just some random coins. You know what I mean? In with the uh, the um. The Franklins I bought from it. So, Mel S, more coins from Mel S. We got a uh, 64 Kennedy, um, a 43 Walker, and a 43 Merc. So, uh, Mel, super cool. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. And next up, we got another one from Mel S and another one from Mel S. So, two more, yeah, as you can see, gift, gift, um, the 35P and the 36D Washington Quarters from Mel S. No, I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah. So, uh, next up, we got uh, another one from DA, the 1903 Indian Head. This was the LOL mail call. After I did the video, the after I did the Things That Irritate Me video on Scotch Tape, um, DA mailed me this uh, Indian Head penny and this 1908 Barber Dime, um, and with a big sign, you know, saying LOL. When I opened the envelope, it said LOL. And then these coins were taped directly to the paper. You know what I mean? Just to, just to get under my skin. Just to, just to get on my nerves. DA, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And, uh, and, uh, and I, re I really do appreciate it. Next up, we got uh, another coin from Gunnar Gunderson here. This is the um, Sterling Silver Full Crown. The 1890 Full Crown. This is the Maria Teresa. Um, uh, I think this is the Maria Teresa. I'm not positive. We might get to the Maria, to Maria Teresa in a little while. But I think this is the Maria Teresa. Full Crown. 1890. Sterling Silver. Gunnar Gunderson. The Man Across the Pond. Really appreciate it, man. I really appreciate everybody who sent in anything for this book. I really appreciate the support and love that you guys show, man. It's it's awesome. So next up, we got, oh, Howard's Coin Finds. Uh, my good buddy from Australia, Howard's Coin Finds. There are several coins in here from him, too. Um, this one is the 66 Australian 50-cent piece, 80% silver, um, and super cool. I believe this uh, this was the last of the circular, the, the round uh, silver 50 cent pieces, if I remember correctly, Howard. If not, like I said, I, you know, my mind is shot and I can't remember every 
detail of every coin in the book at this point, but um, super cool. Love that coin, man. Howard Howard is uh, definitely an awesome, awesome guy. And we got uh, another Howard's coin find, another Howard's coin find, another Howard's coin finds, another Howard's coin finds, and another Howard's coin finds. So, uh, you know, all different uh, Australian coins, silver, copper, bronze, you know, just, just awesome pieces that are a pleasure to have in the book. Um, and I really appreciate the, uh, all the, all the love you show the channel, Howard. It's, it's, it's awesome. Um, next up, we got a, a one ounce Engelhard bar from no other than Silverstruck. I had mailed Silver, I had mailed Silver, Silverstruck, um, just, uh, you know, a little mail call, you know, just to, you know, let him know I support his channel and, uh, you know, I, I, I enjoy his content and, um, he was kind enough to send me back this, this hell of a toner. This is a hell of a toner, Engelhard one ounce bar, um, 1981 landscape variety, tier five, tier five rarity. So, um, awesome, awesome one ounce Engelhard bar from Silverstruck, um, yeah, what more can I say? What more can I say when somebody mails me a one ounce toner Engelhard? So Silverstruck, I really appreciate that, buddy, and um, I really do. Okay, next up we got three coins from Dan R. Dan R is is friggin' awesome. Um, Dan R is a coin roll hunter. He uh, just, I mean, like a like a lunatic. This guy. Um, coin roll hunting is his thing, and um, he's he's fantastic. So he was kind enough to send me. Check this out, man. This is, I mean, just just mind blowing. A bicentennial, forty percent silver bicentennial, half dollar. Very tough to come by. You don't see these every day. Um, a nineteen seventy forty percenter, nineteen seventies are probably the toughest date to find in 40%. Or he found this coin roll hunting, and he was kind enough, I mean, just, you know, just awesome, man, you know, to send a, a 1970 40% silver. It's just a tough date to get on uh, 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 on 40% um, halves, and it's uh, just awesome. Both of these blew me away. And then a 65 uh, Kennedy 40% silver. He also sent which was also a great year, a great selection of year, because that's the year my wife was, was born. That's my, my wife's birth year. So um, all three of these coins from Dan are um, super, super duper, man. That's it on that. Um, and we got Bottle Top Bandit, Bottle Top Bandit, the man. Bottle Top Bandit, super cool channel from Bottle Top Bandit. Sent me a little nail call here, a 1940S Mercury Dime, uh, went into the Book of Fame and it now resides here. Um, and uh, it's super cool. Love the Mercs and uh, love Bottle Top Bandit's channel. So um, we'll move on. Thank you very much, Bottle Top Bandit. Uh, next up, we got Heather. Heather uh, sent me this mail call. Heather is an awesome girl. She sent me this this 37P Merc um, after her, I think it was like a... A thank you for her after her 300 subscriber giveaway, something like that. But um, Heather, thank you very much. Awesome for uh, awesome, awesome coin to go into the book, and I really appreciate it. And um, thanks for your support of the channel. Next, we got Patriotic Stacker. Patriotic Stacker, the Weisenheimer, the wise guy, um, also felt he needed to tape everything up on this mail call too, uh, just for a goof, as a laugh, just to see me writhe in pain, and, um, patriotic stack, motherfucker, I just, <laughs> I just knocked into the camera, the, the phone, and shut it off, so, uh, we'll, we'll take two here, okay, patriotic stacker, thank you very much, you're Weisenheimer, and, uh, I really appreciate it, so thanks for that, next up, we got the... Eight, uh, the 1780, um, this may be the, the Maria Teresa, um, from Addicted to Minis and Loving It. Great dude, 
my partner on the AG Stacker 1776 giveaway. Um, I can't remember. This may be the the Maria, the Maria Teresa. The other one was the full crown. This is the uh, 1780 uh, Maria Teresa Thaler. I'm pretty positive. So, addicted to minis. Thank you very much. Awesome channel. Awesome guy. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And uh, addicted to minis also sent the um, the um, the half real, the Mexican half real, 1739. Um, totally cool on this thing. It, it is hold it. There's two little holes on either side of it. Now, if you ever want to, if you ever think the half real is fake when it has those two holes, I'm gonna say it's not because um, these guys used to sew these to their clothes. Um, to carry them around because maybe they have pockets or whatever. I don't know, but they would hold them and sew them to their clothes. So these half reals, super cool. Um, addicted to minis. Uh, really appreciate it, buddy. And we got Metalhead Stacker. Sweet. Metalhead Stacker um, out there in Canada sent these two pieces here. Um, a 1960 Canadian 10 cent, 80% silver. And... He also does the metal detecting, and he found this vintage silver, um, like a bracelet. It's a sterling silver, 925. It's, it's stamped 925, and he found it metal detecting, so that's super cool. Um, an Italian, it's stamped Italy, it's stamped 925, and it's um, super cool. So, uh, yeah, thank you on that. Metal head stacker, super cool dude. Go check him out. Next up, we got uh, OC, CCC, CCC, C. Um, old Country Coin Collector sent me a blank, uh, a brilliant uncirculated blank penny planchet, which is super cool, and a 2019D shield scent um, gem uncirculated. I don't know what the 2019D signifies, but I don't know, and I don't care, because it's an awesome addition to the Book of Fame along with the Penny Planchet, the blank Penny Planchet, OCCC, Old Country Coin Collector. Thank you very much for that. And now, oh, last page of the book here. We got Jerry Parker, um, great guy, awesome guy. Jerry nickel and dimed me. Um, you know, it's the first time he nickel and dimed me, but I don't mind. You know why? Because it was a 1945 uh, Philippines, USA Philippines, five centavo, and a 1943 Mercury dime, a winged Liberty dime, so he did nickel and dime me. Uh, Jerry Parker, awesome guy, thank you very much, Jerry, I really appreciate that, I really do, and that was a great surprise when I got that. So we got, looks like one, two, three more from Howard, over at Howard's Coin Finds, we got the 39 and 45 half pennies. Um, signifying the 1939, signifying the first year of World War II, 1945, signifying the last year of World War II. These are bronze half pennies, Australian half pennies, and they're super cool. And he also sent a 1949 three pence, 50% um, silver, which is super cool. Super cool. Uh, George the sixth on there. And Howard, thank you very much. I really, really, really appreciate them. And last but not least, we got A.G. Stacker, 1776. That's pretty funny that A.G. Stacker is the first person in the book and the last person in the book. That's that's too cool. So, um, yeah, the one gram Monarch Precious Metals uh, from A.G.S. 1776. AG Stacker, 1776. Um, totally cool. Totally awesome. And, and, I, and I dig it. So uh, AG Stacker, the first, the very first and the very last in the book. That's, that's a weird coinky dink. And also in here, uh, I got this Australian $1 note. I think Howard sent this to me. I can't remember. My mind is shut. We got a DA sticker, a spare DA sticker. And also with that Aztec round that the F word sent me, he also sent me this um, Nevada one gold back, super cool. My first and only gold back, and um, that's on the back of the book. So the gold back is on the back. So super cool here. Um, yeah, that's the Book of Fame. 
That's all of you guys who have put time and and effort into you know getting a, a package or an envelope ready for me and taking the time and sending it to me for the Book of Fame. And um, I just want to. I, I just really appreciate it. I really appreciate um, all you guys, and nothing, nothing could replace this book to me. You know what I mean? This is just irreplaceable. People talk about what would be the last thing you got rid of if you had to sell your stuff. This would be the last thing. If I mean, you know, if just I mean, it was a life or death situation. You know what I mean? I might consider, you know, that. But this book is definitely um, really really, you know, just, uh, what can I say, you, you know, I don't want to start bringing a tear to my eye, I don't want to cry on video, you know what I mean, but the bottom line is, I really appreciate everybody in the community, and there will be a part, a part two of the Book of Fame coming soon, so um, don't stop those mail calls, because I love doing the mail calls.